This podcast is made possible in part through the support of AHA Broadway. AHA Broadway makes performing arts education and programs accessible for schools, senior centers, veterans, and kids. Turning impossible into I'm possible. Learn more about how you can learn, perform, and believe at ahabroadway.org. That's A-H-H-A broadway.org. Now on with the show. Welcome, science adventurers and curious creatures, to Atomic Booger, the podcast where we blast off into amazing facts about the world and everything around us. I'm your resident brainiac, Adam. And I'm your super silly sidekick, Booger, ready to giggle our way through gravity, momentum, and everything awesome. (laughs) That's right, Booger. Today, we're diving headfirst into a topic that's all about pushing limits, going fast, and sometimes even flying. We're talking about the science of sports. Oh. Oh, like how a dragon can fly super fast with less flapping of his wings. Exactly, Booger. It's all about physics, biology, and so much more. Sports science helps us understand how athletes do incredible things, how to make them stronger, faster, and even safer. And with better flying. This is Atomic. Think about it. When an athlete jumps, runs, or throws a ball, there's a whole world of science happening. It's about something called biomechanics, which is the science of how our bodies move. That's why the word biomechanics has the word bio in it. It looks at everything from how our joints bend to how our muscles push and pull. So, like, why can't I blow fire so far, but you can't? Is there a booger mechanics? Well, in your case, it's dragon biology. Got it. Dragons are better than humans. Booger! But for humans, understanding biomechanics helps us figure out how to move properly and even how to heal if we get hurt. Like if a student athlete lands awkwardly, biomechanics can show if their knees are bending the wrong way. Then they can do special exercises to fix it. It's like having a map to guide your body back to strength. All right, Booger. Time for some super speedy, mind-blowing fun facts about sports science. My favorite kind of facts. Bring on the blast-offs. Here's the first one. Bobsledding is a high-speed, gravity-powered winter sport where a team of athletes steers a large sled down an ice track at speeds of close to 90 miles per hour. Did you know that when bobsledders zoom around those icy turns, they experience forces up to five times the pull of gravity? That's like a fighter pilot in a jet. Whoa! Five Gs! I bet their faces get all squishy. (laughs) For our second fact, those big round curling stones you see sliding across the ice, they weigh 42 pounds and are made of a special type of granite that only comes from one tiny island off the coast of Scotland called Elsa Craig. An island of magic rocks. I want one to skip. (laughs) And for our third fact, physics is the science that studies matter, energy, and their interactions. Check this out. When a figure skater spins super fast, they're using a cool physics trick. By pulling their arms and legs in close to their body, they can spin much, much faster. It's called the law of conservation of angular momentum, which means once something is spinning, it keeps the same spin power unless something outside like friction or someone grabbing you, changes it. So if I want to spin faster for a dragon dance, I just hug myself tight. Oh, that's harder than it looks. Speaking of things that are harder than they look, Booger, let me tell you a story about a little alien named Zorp. Oh, Zorp. I love Zorp. Does Zorp have fire breath too? No fire breath, Booger. But Zorp was from a planet with almost no gravity. 
like floating around all the time. When Zorp first landed on Earth, everything was a dizzying, heavy mess. Zorp saw some kids playing basketball and thought, this looks easy. Zorp tried to jump for the ball, but instead of floating up high, Zorp just kind of flopped. Splat! Exactly! Earth's gravity pulled Zorp down hard. Then Zorp saw kids playing soccer. Aha! Uh -huh, Zorp thought. I'll kick the ball and it will float forever. Zorp kicked with all six of Zorp's little alien legs and the ball zoomed. Zorp! But then it fell right back down. Poor Zorp! Too much gravity! Zorp was so confused. Back on Zorp's planet, things just drifted. Zorp couldn't understand why things moved in straight lines and then fell, or why running was so much work. I explained to Zorp that Earth sports are all about gravity pulling you down, and how athletes use force to push off the ground, fight friction from the air, and control their momentum. Like in bobsledding, they push super hard to get started. Precisely. Zorp eventually tried figure skating thinking, at least I can spin. Zorp pushed off the ice, extended all six arms, and started to spin. But because Zorp didn't pull those arms in, Zorp spun very slowly. When Zorp tried to copy a human skater pulling their arms in, Zorp spun so fast that Zorp turned into a blurry alien comet, giggling uncontrollably and sliding right off the rink. Just like me when I get excited. Zorp learned to love Earth gravity. Zorp realized that what made Earth sports so challenging and exciting was the amazing science behind them. From then on, Zorp became Earth's biggest sports science fan, always cheering for the athletes and marveling at the incredible physics of every jump, run, and spin. It just goes to show, you can find inspiration everywhere, even in a little alien's wobbly first steps on Earth. Okay, Booger, ready for some laughs? Always. My scales are tickling. <laughs> Why are figure skaters so good at studying? Hmm, because they have a good spin on things. Good guess. Good one. My turn. Oh, what's a bobsledder's favorite type of music? <laughs> Is it anything with a lot of acceleration? Whoosh. Close. It's speed metal because it's fast. That's a good one. All right, try this riddle. I get pushed off, then I slide, and then I get swept to go faster. What am I? Ooh, ooh, is it a, a curling stone? You got it. Because those sweepers heat up the ice to make a tiny layer of water, which helps the stone glide with less friction. I'm a genius. And if you don't know what curling is, go find out. It's a really cool sport. The science there is amazing. The ice isn't perfectly smooth. It has tiny pebble-shaped bumps. These bumps actually reduce the surface contact and help the stone slide farther. Plus, they stop a vacuum, which is a space with little or no matter in it, and pressure that is different from the pressure outside of that space from forming underneath the stone that would slow it down. Bumps that make you faster. That's upside down science. It's clever science. And in bobsledding, it's all about minimizing drag. That's the air resistance trying to slow you down. Like when you stick your hand outside in the air when you are in a car and the wind catches your hand and pulls it backwards. The bobsledding sleds are super sleek. The teams wear tight suits and they tuck in close like peas in a fiberglass pod to be as streamlined as possible. Like when I fold my wings super tight to dive. Whoosh. Exactly. And in downhill skiing, skiers push off the starting gate to get their initial acceleration. Then, gravity takes over, pulling them down the mountain at incredible speeds, sometimes over 90 miles an hour. They have to fight friction from the snow and air resistance by tucking their bodies small and long. It's a constant battle against forces. But sports science isn't just about speed and force. It's also about keeping athletes healthy. 
For young athletes, it's super important to eat a healthy, well-balanced diet. This gives you the energy you need and helps you grow strong bones and muscles. Like eating lots of yummy carrots for good dragon vision. <laughs> right. Carbohydrates are your body's main energy source, especially for sports. Think fruits, potatoes, bread, and pasta. And protein helps your cells grow and repair. Like when you're building muscles, fish, lean meat, and dairy are great for that. And don't forget water. Being well hydrated keeps your organs working, regulates your body temperature, and delivers nutrients everywhere they need to go. Young athletes should drink a lot of water, about half to one ounce for every pound they weigh. Water, carbs, protein, got it. Stay strong, little humans. And staying safe is important too. Sometimes in sports, people can get hurt from impacts. That's why science also helps design safer equipment. Even though some things like chest protectors don't always offer full protection against certain types of rare heart injuries, it reminds us that knowing basic first aid, like CPR, and having special defibrillator machines at sports events can save lives. Finally, let's talk about sports science and culture. It's not just on the field or in the lab. Think about superhero costumes. Oh, like Batman's cape. <laughs> Does it help him glide? Well, Batman's cape is often used to strike fear and disguise his silhouette, but some people imagine it could have special gadgets or even help him glide. When designers create new superhero costumes, like for Batgirl, they often think about making them more practical for fighting and moving like choosing flat boots over high heels so they can actually run and jump. No tripping on the bad guys because of silly shoes. <laughs> exactly. It shows how even in pretend worlds, the science of movement and practicality is super important. Wow, Booger. We covered so much today about the amazing science of sports. From tiny bumps on curling ice to superhero boots, science is everywhere. And it's so cool how knowing science makes sports even more fun and safe. You got it. Remember, whether you're playing a sport or just watching, there's a whole universe of science waiting to be discovered and noticed. Stay curious, everyone. And that's all the atomic boogers we have for you today. See you later and be greater. Atomic Booger is a production of Light Circle Entertainment, copyright 2025. Produced by Mark Rako. There's much more at AtomicBooger.com. Atomic Booger is intended for entertainment purposes only and may not be the opinion of Light Circle Entertainment or its associates.